Thank you. So um, my talk today is a bit about um, visualization of data, of attack. So um, just to have a rough idea, um, out of everyone sitting here, what is your favorite visualization tool? I don't say Visio. So please shout it out. Whiteboard. A whiteboard. Anyone else? Giphy. Giphy. PowerPoint. Any? Anyone else? No. Graph is. Yeah. Cool. <laughs> ASCII art. Well, um, um, there are a few tools I'd like to play with, but I often have the, the challenge in, um, in working dynamically with them. But we'll, we'll maybe touch the subject a bit later. About visualizing um, attack data, uh, well, we all know the beautiful matrix view with those filters and profiles you can load. It's quite convenient. Uh, we also know the website. It's kind of also a visualization tool. I mean, it allows you to see texts because the original data is in XML files or a JSON files, sorry. Um, so it's, uh, it's a way to visualize the data, like see the, the details of this uh, technique. Um, we can see the details of a certain actor just randomly chosen. Um, <laughs> nothing to do with my employer, of course. Um, I'm working for NATO. Um, actually, it was, it was really random. Uh, a nice thing in, in relation to MISP, you all know MISP there was a presentation earlier this morning. You can also cherry pick the attack uh, patterns uh, using either this way, either uh, uh, soon to be more beautiful uh, a matrix. Um, but it's quite nice because you have all those elements in there. So it's kind of also visualization, but it lacks some ability to view things in a better way. Uh, when I look at this graph, this has nothing to do with the tech, but I love it because it shows me more than just purely texts because it, show me, it shows me the story. It shows me the flow of a certain attack. And I think that's also what attack, um, the, the, the attack story, MITRE attack, allows us to do. It allows us to see things that are not, maybe not visible just in our heads or just by seeing it in a flat way. Um, uh, this is also a graph I love or, or hate, um, but this maybe shows, shows the challenges when we try to visualize things. We have to uh, sometimes be able to work with a tool that allows us to add and remove data while we work. Um, uh, that's that's why I'm so bad with Giphy because I, I never spend enough time with it. I, I don't know how to remove the data and, and add the only the data that I want to. Um, so um, my objective is just to find glue. Uh, uh, in this case, I had a Multigo license. Uh, Multigo allows me to pivot on things um, uh, dynamically. I love attack. I love MISP. So I want to glue both. Uh, I know that they don't cover everything. They don't solve all my problems. So I try to glue it. Um, and in this case, I used Multigo. Uh, if you have other tools who can can uh, enjoy glue, please do it. Or or maybe I'm also a user, and maybe I can find to, time to. Uh, um, create extra glue. So this is what I try to do. So there are many use cases. I touched a few of those use cases on Monday at the MISP summit, but this is not what I want to show now. I want to show more of my MITRE attack specific things, uh, specific examples. And now, of course, just to make sure things don't work, I will do a demo with internet access. So <laughs> Ooh, resolution will be a challenge. Uh, who here has never used Multigo? Never? Whoa, there are many proficient Multigo users here then. Um, so, uh, yeah, um, on the left we have kind of a, a menu where I can create entities and so on. Um, and uh, in here I loaded the plugin, which is the uh, Miss Multigo, which allows me to do transforms. So when I have an entity, I ask him, look in this database to find this type of information. So in this case, let's start with, uh, um, yeah, the integration I did was uh, with the MISP galaxies. Um, uh, so the galaxies are a way, like like uh, Alexandre and, and, and Andras mentioned this morning, they integrate uh, uh, the, the attack framework, which is quite convenient because I get all the other benefits too. So it's not only with uh, attack I can pivot. Um, so in this case, let's take, um, uh, I'm, I'm going to create a new, kind of a search, for example, uh, uh, I don't know the exact tag or naming, so I will just type apt32, and then I will ask him for the relations. Hop. Now I get a few results. Oh, yeah, I'll, uh, let me, uh, uh, let me take this aside. It's, it's another nice demo. Um, so now I have some search results, 
And in this case, I want to focus on the MITRE intrusion sets because the rest is not of no interest. I will just select and delete it. And from here, I will continue pivoting. Um, so let's look at the relationships of this. This will become more fun. And in here, uh, Maltigo now sends a certain version. He groups things together. So in here, we have a lot of uh, galaxies. I can take it out. And then we will see the beautiful icons. This is a bit less readable. That's why, again, the dynamic element of uh, removing data. Um, so let's give me a second. Um, so the objective here is to try to get some sense, just to clarify, the objective is to try to get some sense out of this data. I want to visualize some things I'm looking for, so I'm trying to get a better understanding about APT32 using MITRE, uh, MITRE attack. Uh, so here, um, uh, uh, let's, uh, let's just go back and select all of them, and then ask again relationships, and it takes a Few seconds. Ooh, this becomes big. Ooh, fun. We love it. Yeah, can you still read this? No. Okay, so that's the value of removing data that's of no use to you. And right now, it's it's the tool constant development, so I'm adding filters and other ways to, to limit the data. But in this case, I'm going to remove all the attack patterns. Um, and we're going to, for and also courses of actions, which are all here. And we're going to see a tiny bit a better story. Oh, this is already better. Unfortunately, resolution is not the best. So in here, I start to see relationships between different uh, tools and between certain actors. Um, uh, so um, let's, in this case, we look at the data, we look at the results, and um, let's say we want to focus on, uh, on two elements, which are um, the tools of, of use of nets and, and uh, mimicats. Uh, Ah, uh, this is a bit difficult to read. So let's remove all this. To keep. Uh, this is difficult to read. Don't have screen replication, sorry, or the duplication. Uh, gets a net. <laughs> okay. Let me delete it here. Here it is. And we're going to pivot on those two. We're going to ask relationships again. Uh, uh, we can... Uh, uh, let's remove everything except those two. Because, because now, by looking at the data, we understood that our APT32 was using those two uh, um, the tools. Um, so and now I'm back in the, only the two objects left. And I want to focus deeper on this level. So I just did the pivot. And now we can start looking. We can start grouping things. Because we were wondering, OK, maybe we, we, we looked at it wrongly. And maybe this is maybe not APT32, because actually maybe this is something completely different. So in this case, we see that Mimikatz tool and uh, Net tool, they have kind of a common galaxies, which are common intrusion sets. And when we look at the other sites in here, these are all intrusion sets that are also using Net, and on the other side also using uh, Mimikatz. Um, so um, these are again ways to to look at the data. 
Uh, another example looking at a, a specific MISP event, I showed you the, the, the galaxies attached to the MISP event earlier. So in here I can also, for this MISP event specifically, I can load the galaxies. Ooh, this works. So we have uh, uh, attack patterns uh, that were added. We have an intrusion set that was added. So let's have a look and, uh, and well, let's, let's have a look actually at the intrusion sets and expands the relationships of the intrusion sets, which actually might have defined which attack patterns a specific actor uses or intrusion sets. But in here I have a data from an event or an incident that people shared where people tagged to specific uh, um, uh, techniques um, uh, uh, and also the actor. So it's interesting to start comparing, okay, I have this actor which Miter says has these and these and these techniques, but I have an incident or an event which has these and these and these techniques uh, mapped. So again, by let's combine a bit the data. So he's just grouping things that uh, uh, belong together. Let's go a bit more. And what do we see? My MISP event has common in common with the MITRE intrusion sets has these markings, these attack patterns that are common. So actually, MITRE defines a lot of intru uh, uh, attack patterns. Uh, or, or documented, let's say, and from all these attack patterns in this event, 18 were not marked on this MISP event. Actually, this MISP event marked how many? Oh, yeah, the screen is really small, it's not easy. So 11 of them were marked in the MISP event. So what does that say? That also raises the question uh, Sad uh, raised of the challenge of marking uh, the, the data correctly and completely, not having the subject elements. But here, thanks to data visualization, I can look at it in another way that, sells, that says more to me than just trying to remember all those 15 uh, things from the one side, those uh, 32 items from the other side. So it's just a, a matter of, uh, of getting extra help. Um, I don't, how much time do I have? Almost finished? Okay. Um, so, um, you can do, you can do the same thing just by, by pivot on, on, on threat actors. I had a few other demos, but I think we're, we're there. Uh, yes. Um, so, um, uh, current slides. Yes. Woohoo. Um, so that's a bit, uh, a quick story, just to show that by visualizing data, you can see other things. Is it with Maltigo or any other tool? So I just did the work to create some uh, transforms in Maltigo. Of course, it's open source. You can find it on, on GitHub or you can just pip install. Um, and uh, it's work in progress. So if you have some use cases, some IDs of, of, of specific features, um, uh, please throw them uh, at an issue on, on the repository. Uh, one of the examples is right now, because it uses the galaxies, it's Combining everything, uh, is it a, a, an attack pad? Uh, is it a, a technique or is it a course of action? It just sees it as the same. So he also combines everything in the same way because of Meltigo. So that's the thing I will do so that um, things are split in more logical groups. Um, so it's continuous work uh, uh, ongoing. So that's just uh, some small project I wanted to share. Thank you.